Hello and welcome to the 411 information line. A direct line to spirit, the creator, God, the universe. Whatever you deem the creative energy of all that is, whatever that name is for you, Buddha, Allah, Jesus, it's all the same energy, you guys. It's unconditional love. It's infinite intelligence. It's everything and nothing at the same time. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So the way this, we're going to do some fun things in this reading. Um, at the, I just want to say at the end of the reading, we're going to ask three different yes or no questions for fun. We're going to do yes or no. Then we're going to do the timing on that yes or no. Like if it's a no, maybe there's a, a better timing for something like that. But we're going to do yes or no, timing, and advice. And so kind of think about your questions. Think about what you may want to ask. You can like ask a different question for each pile. There'll be three. And we'll just have some fun with that. So information that you need right now, 411, messages from spirit that are important for you right now. And we're going to tune in to the feminine and masculine energies. So the soul truth, the top two cards, first one feminine, second one masculine. This is the question that the universe is asking you right now, divine feminines. Am I apologizing for my truth? The divine feminine energy within you is pondering this or spirits encouraging you to ponder this. What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Your mantra is, courage is contagious. So, be proud of your truth. There's no need to apologize for your truth. As long as you're coming from a place of unconditional love and you're speaking your truth, we're just gonna put this in here. All is well. And then for the masculine energy, for the divine masculine, where am I called to use my voice right now? Oh, speak in your truth. You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters and it's time for you to share it with the world. Share your story with at least one person today. Be brave and speak your truth. Your voice will be the catalyst for healing in others. So instead of apologizing for your truth and apologizing like where you've been and what you've learned and the choices you've made, speak about it. Because the things that you've gone through will help someone else. I have said that my entire life and that's why I am on this healer's path. And that's one of the big reasons why I can really help anybody, everybody heal. Because I've been through it all, you guys. And eventually I will share my story and you will probably be quite surprised of the things that I've been through. And I finally came into this place where my truth is my truth and your truth is your truth and I can accept that they may be different. That's key too. And I'm not gonna apologize for who I am. I'm not gonna apologize for what my truth is and what I, what I know and neither should you. And when you use your voice and you're brave and you step out and you change things and you break karmic ties and ancestral patterns, you help other people heal and you help other people find the courage within themselves to do the same. Nothing to lose and everything to gain is what spirit says. And with the angels and ancestors cards, we're gonna see who's with you right now, helping you, guiding you. Divine Feminines, who is with you right now?
the white witch. I consider myself a white witch, yes. Be the light, you are the light. You are very wise, pure divine love. That's you. Be the light, be the truth, be the voice for others that can't or that don't know how. Wow, there's so much growth for you right now, Divine Feminines. Be the light. So this white witch energy is with you, helping you to tune in to your light, to trust the wisdom that lives within you. No apologies here. Be the light. And what about for the Divine Masculine? Lady, so a lot of feminine energy, some lady, a beautiful, loving, generous, abundant, fruitful lady energy. So it could be an ancestor, a loved one. Enjoy growth and reap the rewards. Yeah, you're growing right now. It's harvest time. And isn't nature amazing? Like inside of that apple is like a perfect flower. Your seeds of intention are growing getting to the core, to the root of things, reaping the rewards because you've done the work and you're, you're just, you're growing and there's so much love and abundance surrounding you. Fruitful opportunities coming your way. How can you use your voice? Where are you called? This lady energy, this feminine energy is helping you to speak your truth. And that's where your abundance lies. There's some kind of reward when you start speaking your truth, even if it's just to one person. Who is that person that you can share your story with, that you can share your growth with, that needs the light, that desires the love, that you can share wisdom with and help them somehow? Who is that person? It's the first person you thought of. And with the keepers of the light, we're gonna see who's guiding you right now. With the white witch is hope. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Yeah, always choose love. That's the most powerful energy. That's your truth. Your truth is love. You deserve love. You are love. You are worthy. You are the light. You are very, very wise. And there is a lot of happiness and abundance coming your way when you open up. Accept yourself. Accept others. Have hope. And always focus on your love that's yours. The masculine energy. Oh, so we have the lady and we have Odin, psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Yeah. Trust yourself. Trust what's within you, not outside of you. And with the angel wisdom tarot, what is this 411 information that's coming in? What is this 411? What is the main message for the sacred feminine? Right? Be the light. Focus on love. Loving thoughts. No apologies for who you are. What is the main message, this 411 information? What information does the Divine Feminine need right now, Spirit? Look at that, the dreamer. A new start, trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. So that's this is the information you need, it's time. If you were wondering if it was time, it's time. Metatron is here. Archangel Metatron is here helping you, guiding you, protecting you, watching over you. Dream your dream. Dream bigger. Don't apologize for your truth and your beautiful, amazing ma imagination because that's how we manifest things. Focus on love. There's a new start here and it's time to trust yourself. Be the light and move forward. So the fool energy is your main energy here, feminines. The fool. I can get that, I can still see it. And what about for the masculine? 
a look at this. Archangel Uriel is with you and encouraging you to enjoy the fruits of your labors. And you get this enjoy growth and reap rewards. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. Buying yourself something special. Happily and successfully self-employed. Enjoying the solitude. Perhaps you're taking a leap of faith on self-employment. Doing something by yourself. Speaking your truth. Writing a book. Starting a business. Buying yourself something special, right? Enjoying your hard work, enjoying what you've earned and taking this leap of faith, a new start here. There's definitely a new start and there's a lot of growth and abundance. Okay, so with this leap of faith, where is it taking? What's the, what's the information needed on this journey? to help the Divine Feminine to move forward. Ariel is with you. Seven, making decisions, learning the lessons, standing your ground, stand up for yourself and your beliefs, have confidence, challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. You're very powerful. Stand your ground on certain things when you're, when you're doing this, when you're moving forward, right? Don't apologize for what you want and your truth. Be yourself, have confidence. You can challenge others, but be wise with the ones that you challenge. Make sure it's worth it, right? Because sometimes it's not worth it because people just don't get it. So making decisions that are highest and best for you is the key right now. And not letting anyone or anything take you away from your truth. What about for the masculine? A couple energies and two more fill out. Okay, we're just trying to get one. Just one spirit, the main one that can really help with this independence, with this nine of pentacles. This can be health being restored. Look at that, the hermit, the healer. Time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discovery. This is the healer's path. A mentor. Where are you called to use your voice? Spend some time alone. So I feel like the masculine, masculine within you is wanting to spend some time alone here. Okay? Because this is a very independent, alone energy, right? Enjoying your solitude, spending time alone, meaningful solitude. So it's really important that you go within right now to discover where you can use your voice. What can you do with this? How can you heal and how can you help someone else heal? And this is really standing in what you believe in and taking this leap of faith towards this. It could be a new path. And you're healing. What's working to manifest for both the masculine and the feminine here? Working together, making decisions, making a decision to, to really clear out the old for this new fresh start. The Nine of Wands. Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. So if you're into that, you're going for it or you're part of a group that is. But this is really about not giving up, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. If something doesn't work one way, you're trying it a different way because you know what you're here to do, right? Protect what you have created. Stand up for yourself. Be prepared and never give up, okay? There's always going to be some kind of spiritual warfare, some kind of darkness, some kind of opposition, duality, right? Not everybody's going to agree with you or there's some people that might be jealous and try to get in your way. Whatever this is, protect what you have created and be prepared. Be prepared. You are strong enough to do this. So Spirit's preparing you right now by giving you this insight, by giving you this beautiful hope, right? Be the light. Trust your intuition. Follow it. Go with and see, be the light. And there's this hermit energy. It's really pretty. And look what's manifesting for the masculine and feminine, the lovers, uniting, healing, 
Archangel Raphael. Embrace true love and deep intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So if somebody's been sick, recovering. Vibrant health, this is healing, this is healing. So wow, this is a beautiful new beginning. United, partnership, that's what's coming. So first and foremost, it's important to heal ourselves, right? And know what our truth is. The truth is you deserve love. Love is yours, as that hope card said. And then you put in the work and there, there's the lovers, the masculine and feminine putting in the work on a new business idea, a project, healing, growing, learning, Archangel Gabriel with you, the eight of pentacles, learning all you can about a subject or a career, going back to school, taking a seminar or finding a mentor, attention to detail, skilled work that you love. I feel like if you're moving into a healer's path, being a mentor, using your voice to help others, people will seek you out. And if you're looking to do this type of thing, reach out to someone that is a mentor. It could be in your spiritual community, it could be at church, right? Reach out to the mentor that's a you know master of the craft or business that you're in. But it's working together, coming together. That's the key right now. And the information that Spirit really wants you to hone in on, that's the underlying energy of all of this, is justice. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. Absolutely, you will. Divine justice for all. A beautiful balance. Archangel Raggio. feel like the divine masculine and divine feminine are getting the justice that you deserve. Love is reigniting. Love is coming in. Partnership, friendship, an opportunity for a new start. Being independent and free to be you. And a big, big message is speaking your truth, living in your truth, living a life of integrity and stand up for what you believe in. Don't back down. Spirit has your back right now. Do not back down. And in these very few cards, you have several major arcanas, like four major arcanas. Okay, so half of cards. You have the justice, right? The balance, divine justice, decisions being made, the lovers, decision card, decision from the heart taking a leap of faith and becoming a mentor, doing something meaningful, be the light, shine your light. There's a lot of healing energy in these cards as well. Healing of your finances, healing of your mental body, your emotional body, your spiritual body, your physical body. It's beautiful. Okay, now we are gonna do the yes or no questions. We're gonna do three, and we're gonna do three timing cards, like maybe when this is gonna happen, whatever it is that you're thinking of, and then some advice for you. So first we're gonna start with question number one, yes or no. Oh wow, I choose a new direction is what Spirit is saying. Okay, to me, this is not a yes or a no, it's just take it a different way. Okay, see the nine of wands? Look, and it's two people, it's the lovers. Same idea, a different direction. You could be going a completely di different direction on this, but what Spirit is saying, it's not really a yes, it's not really a no. They just want you to look to the light and choose a new direction with whatever it is that you're thinking of. And I feel like that's like the full energy. So question number one, choose a new direction. Question number two, yes or no? Question number two, yes or no? Yes. Yes with lots of possibilities, many blessings. Look at all the rainbow and the peace with the dove. So 
this answer is yes, and it's a very peaceful yes. Third question, third question. Yes or no? Third question. No. And this is a no like, no, there's something better. When this is no, because there's something so much better. Because it has the exclamation point. So it's like, no, wait, there's something better. Don't be rash, don't, be, don't rush. But let's see when we're gonna get advice on each of these two and the timing. So this is timing. So choose a new direction, like what's the timing on that? What does that look like? Or you can ask a different question on timing. We're gonna do three timing answers. So think of, your, think of whatever you're thinking about for number one on the timing. Number one timing card. Wait, yeah, I feel like with this energy over here, it's like, wait, there's a new direction that will be revealed to you. Just wait, just, just pause for a minute. We're, there's some kind of communication coming in with the sword, okay? Second question, second energy. Wow, those are just kind of flying out. You're ready. Okay, so whatever this is, yes, you're ready. In case you wanted to, didn't, didn't think you were, you are. Spirit believes in you. And look at that gorgeous rainbow energy really being highlighted in this second question. You're ready. Yes. You're ready for this commitment. You're ready for these blessings. Yes, yes, you're ready. You're ready for this opportunity is what I'm hearing. Okay, and what about for the third energy, third question, timing? If, if it's a no right now and you're on the same energy, then, then when, you know, when is something going to change? When is that better thing within the next few weeks? Okay, so no, maybe it's not, you know, no, it's just within the next few weeks, something else is going to transform. I feel like whatever this is that you're thinking of, it's going to be even better within the next few weeks. So that's when you do something about it. So the first pile is more like, wait a second, we have some more information from you and you're gonna wanna choose a different direction or you're gonna wanna shift it somehow, tweak it somehow in some way. The second energy is yes, you are ready. The third energy is no, not right now because there's something better and within the next few weeks it will be revealed to you. And now we're gonna get advice on each of these. And this is for fun, I hope you're having fun with this. Okay, so energy number one, question number one, what is the advice for you? Trust. Look at that. It looks like Christ consciousness, angels, God, the universe is with you. Trust. Trust that we're with you and we're helping you guide you. Trust that if, if one door shuts, there is a new door that's going to open that's even better. Wait. Don't rush. Trust the process. Go within. Take a little time to connect with spirit and connect with your truth right? Heal. Wow, it's beautiful. You are so protected right now. There we go. Okay, second energy, second questions, advice. Ask for help from others, okay? And this looks like a feminine and masculine coming together. Ask for help from others if you need it. And look at I mean, I know there's a lot of rainbow energy, but really highlighted in this pile. Yes, you're ready. And if you need a little help and assistance to build your confidence, to do the team work, you know, work together like this eight of pentacles, ask, but you're ready. You're ready to do this. So ask for a little help if you need it. Ask for a little guidance of how to do it, but you're ready. Ask for help from the angels, from the divine. They're with you. And the third energy, the third question, the, um, what is the advice there? It's up to you. And I love this because it's always up to you. So the divine is asking you, no, don't do this right now. Not quite yet, right? There's still some healing. There's still some things that need to be revealed. Within the next few weeks, you will have opportunity to move forward to make some decisions and it's always up to you. So trust yourself and look at those beautiful feathers. You're being protected. You're, it's, it's up to you. Be confident in yourself, trust yourself. And you're protected in whatever you decide. 
There is no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. It is a personal choice. That's what I'm feeling. And when you want to say no, say no. Wait until it's right for you. I'm sending you all so much love.